guys, it's been a little while now, hasn't it? And um, I would did say I was going to do my Brunswickers in 24 hours, and I did manage to do that. But the reason I didn't put a video up is because my mother-in-law has been in hospital for the last month with uh, various complaints. So of course the wife isn't particularly, uh, shall we say, well she's not very happy about it because she's having to visit her two or three times a week so I've been doing a lot of childcare and also I can't really disappear up into the loft to paint soldiers while she's downstairs fretting about her mum, bless her. So basically everything's been put on hold for the moment but she's just, it's Wednesday, I've just had to take the day off so she can go and see her mother in hospital again. So while I'm up here and she's out of the way and the kids are still at school then I just thought I'd come up and do a catch up video. So these guys across the top I've just been showing you are ones that I completed. In the meantime, well the cannon's not obviously, but um, all these stuff that are now off the bottle tops are ready to be based. And uh, I also, let me just put him down here. Where is he? There he is. My salute figure, oh, I've been the light mate. My salute from last year is complete. So that's him. I still haven't finished putting the buckler and sword on the archer yet, but I'll hopefully have time to do that today. So yeah, he's sorted, and I'm quite happy with him. So, I've got Devils in Skirts on the go, I've got these guys with the flagpoles ready to do, I've got to finish off this command set here. I've started on another Cup the other remaining two batteries of the French artillery that I did. So what I want to do is get this bench clear. At the back here I have a test Prussian FX Landwehr Prussian. So I'm just working on him to get him uh, to how I want them to be. Curassiers are nearly done. I need to get all these guys in the back onto the lorry. The, sorry, lorry. The wagon. I need to get them on the wagon rather than off the wagon. Um, and I've got some of these Imperial Guard to finish. But in the meantime. come back a bit. I have got all these guys to finish basing so I've got Imperial Guard there, I've got some French Voltagers and Grenadiers there and I've got these guys who are the uh, first foot guards more devils and skirts there and foot guards. And here is my command unit for the Black Brunswickers. So as I say, yeah, I did get them done in the time. Um, and in fact, all the way across the back here, I have them based and ready to be flocked. So what I'm going to do is clear these ones off for the moment and then just put those out and then later on I will do a couple of scenes of them with um, the bases fully done. Okay. okay, so here you go. I have the command unit in the centre there. With some marching guys behind. And then two more companies here. 
and then the couple of companies here. So these are the Hat Brunswick Leib Leib Infantry. Yes, I to think there. Yes, it is the Leib Infantry, and um, I have to say they were very nice to paint. Very uh, enjoyable time I had doing these, and I think they look quite. for what they are, which is hat HOO figures, and to give you some idea of the scale, I'll just reach into my pocket here. Um, there we go. So that's a, a penny next to these guys. So you get the general idea. They're about the size of a penny actually. So there you go. So not too much bigger than the 18mm figures. I think he's quite a nice oops, character. The officer with the sword. well do another unit of these in the future but for now I think I'll settle for this lot. Okay, let me just turn some round. And and from the rear, so much easier turning around on these. So, although there's not too much detail on, the, detail on these particular figures, I'm quite I'm quite pleased with the uh, the results. I like this guy's sash. Both got a yellow and blue sash around there. And I'm just missing the commander himself. Now, what I was intending to do with him because I've got some more, or I will be getting or painting some more Brunswick units. I want to do a cavalry unit and a artillery unit and possibly another infantry unit or even two more infantry units. So then what I would need to do with him is put him on a, a stand with a couple of mounted figures as well. So that's why, why he has been left out of the band. Because he will be commanding his own Brunswick. The Black Horde. He will be commanding, commanding basically. Okay. So, finally got round to finishing Bertier the other day. Um, I have been 
busy doing stuff, it's just that I haven't had time to do the videos, that's the thing. So I've been rattling off other pieces, rattling off other pre uh, pieces while I've been finishing off the um, Brunswickers. Because if I've got a certain colour of paint out and I spot one that also could do that, then uh, I just add that to the system. So basically 36 figures in under 24 hours it took me with the Brunswickers, but that includes the preparation um, and the basing. Really. So what I did today was just finish off the the flocking, basically. I just flocked them. Which was the end of the project for that. So they do need varnishing as well, of course, but you know, I consider it the paint job is the uh, the actual painting of the figures, the basing and everything else you just do. I do well. I just tend to do that when um, I'm ready to do a lot of basing because I did the basing for those six units plus another. One, two, plus another about another regiment and a half, or battalion and a half rather, um, of other units. So it's all coming together. The us first guy, I'm quite uh, chuffed with how he's come out. So he will be fitting into somewhere on a command stand soon, possibly maybe even this size or slightly smaller, we shall see. Okay, so I thought I'd finish off with him.